Hey guys, this is my Land Rover, the Gen 1. The paint's almost finished. Almost. There's a few little bits drying. Uh, I take it this is a sort of air intake. Or the cold air, fresh air thing. That's to go black. I just spray painted all that. Mashed it all off earlier. Oh, a little bit of a tip. If you're using masking tape, this is the Tamiya stuff, even that did it. When the masking tape, when you take it off, you'll get a residue. Now, the easiest way to take it off, I found is this the GT. Spray a little bit onto a paper towel, just a little tiny bit, and just you don't have to put any pressure on it. All the way along, I'll start a little bit there. In fact, I can feel it with the tissue. It will take it off. It won't damage the paint at all. Because you can probably I don't know if you be able to see it. There's a little bit there. But I'll get it off later. I, I got most of it off. Both sides. Paint job turned out okay. But what is bad are those. Just let me show you the size in my hand. Oh, where are we? They are tiny. They're meant to get in there. I couldn't get them in. Now the doors do open if you want. But it's murder. I know that looks big. But here you go. Really awkward. I didn't want my doors to come open anyway. It's a good idea by the maker. You know, whoever it is that makes these. Some Chinese company. They did a good job. Uh, yeah, so they're meant to go in. See the two little holes? They're meant to go in there. Then. And, uh, and as you can see, it just. For me it was a waste of time, it just wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. Now when you're putting that on, that little hole must go at the top, because that's the locator. It's meant to hinge almost like the back and it's meant to just slip in like that. But I'm not going to use the hinges. I'm just going to get a bit of velcro along there and I'll stick it because this is going to, going to go into my XO, XX102 and the battery will be right there uh, boot lid is down in the floor drying maybe get some LEDs for these and the reason I've done mine blue was because in the early 80s when I was a little boy my dad my dad had one of these I've got the interior kit coming my dad's was blue with the black trim all the way around now some of these some of these came from the real the real ones from the factory this panel sometimes it was painted sometimes it was black the door pillar Sometimes again that was painted, sometimes it was black. I just went for the whole black all the way around. And it came out very well. I'm not using a clear coat. Just gonna leave it. Anyway, I like it. I think I've done a good job. The little mirrors gone here. Because I think this is obviously very early. Because the later ones had the mirrors here. That looks good. Bumpers, windows. Uh, where's the roof? There's the roof panel. I mean, it all comes in a lot of bits. A lot of bits. There you go. That's how it'll look. Yeah, I think it's okay. 
There's no runs in the paint. It looks marvellous, I love it. I think it looks great. There's a guy in the UK that does them. If anybody wants to know who sells in the UK, you know, just uh, just let me know. Yeah, I've just added a little mic. I don't know if that sounds different. There's a little external mic. <laughs> How does that sound? Yeah, happy with it. Interior's going to come. My dad's interior with this was a tan leather, so I'm going to do that as well. I mean, my dad had the real one for 20 years. Series 1, like this, that colour. The full black trim. Right all the way around. Yeah, happy with it. Like you said, you might have better luck with the hinges and uh, the tailgate. That's down the floor as well. But I've gave up with it. It's a good idea. Like I said, you use my baguette to go. Better than me, but. Anyway, peace and out. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's Krista the Clown. <laughs>